Okay, here's the example we did in class on Wednesday, February 10th. Uh, what I've done is lay it out uh, like I've done before, so it looks a little like your homework four. Um, okay, we're going to calculate the value, the soil expectation value of a one acre forest plot. So we're going to do up the 250 up here. We're just going to do it on a per acre basis with the following uh, costs and revenues plan. Discount rate is 5%. So the soil expectation is the multiple rotations here of doing this particular management on an acre of land or the bare land value or what an acre of, of dirt is worth. And so when I know that it's going to be this 50 year cycle of, of things that we're doing, um, and I, I know then that it's going to be that perpetual periodic equation, which if you look on your table of equations, you will see that it is VO equals A over 1 plus I to the N minus 1 where A is this recurring value, I is your discount rate, and N is the cycle over which it recurs with the first payment coming at the end of the first period. So that looks like this, essentially. This is the VO. There's our A, N years out in the future, and 2N, we have another A, and 3N, we have another A. And so what we've done a lot in our equations up until now is we've crunched numbers using our, our, uh, our series equations first, and then we've used those top two equations to slide those numbers or move them around, right? So we have, if you're looking at these things, it would be like the crunching equation where we crunch these, these values down and then we can slide them to the right point. And our homework this time is going to really focus on these perpetual periodics for both the first and the second question with the multiple parts. Um, but these tend to be the, the more difficult equations, the crunchers, than the sliders. And so what you'll notice in these type of management equations where the same cycle occurs over and over, right, with 50 years, is that maybe it's easier to first figure out what that A value is by sliding these values out to the end, right? So taking them all and moving them to A. So if I was going to do that, I'm looking essentially for the value BT or the T equals 50, right? I want the value out here so that it is the A value. And then I'll only have to apply this periodic one once. So I can do many of these little ones and one of the big ones. So basically that V50 is the A value that I'm looking for. Okay, so how would I do that? Well, I've got to slide all of these values out. So let's start with this 200 value, minus 200. So to get it out to the end here, I have to move it forward 50 years, 1.05 to the 50, right? And that's taking this 20 or this negative 200 and moving it out to the end where that A is. So I only have to apply that once. Then I have an 80. I'm going to have my herbicide cost. Every time the stand is five years old, I'm going to apply herbicides to make sure that our trees are free to grow or whatever it is we're doing with them but I need to move that one out. That one only needs to come 45 years out to the end. So 1.05 to the 45 gets it out at the end. The next one is our pre-commercial thin. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna cut some of the small trees and leave our crop trees so that things grow a little better. 130 is what that's gonna cost per acre, but I need to slide it out 38 years. 1.05 to the 38. Right, so it's already 12. That's me pushing it out there. I've also got this first in, so I'm probably going to get some biomass out of there. Maybe I'm sending it to a power plant or something like that. And I'm going to get $1,000, and I have to move that forward in time 25 years to get it to the end. 
Okay, I'll continue it down here. So I'm going to add on the 1800 from the second thin, maybe some pulp wood coming out of it there. And it's got to go 15 years to get from 35 to 50. So 1.05 to 15. And then I can just add my 6800. I'm going to cut some saw timber and that sort of thing at the end. And then that will start the cycle over because I'll be planting it in that same year. It's already there. I don't need to put it anywhere. So here I've basically taken all of these values and moved them out to the end of that rotation so that I can apply this perpetual periodic once as I'm doing it. So my A equals, in this case, this first one is minus 2293.48 minus the second one of 718.80 minus 8. 30.11, right? So 830.11 is me taking this 130 38 years forward in time, just like 718 is me taking this 80 45 years forward in time. So I'm going to add on this thousand now that I've moved out uh, 25 years, and it is 3386.36. Adding on the last, this 15 years, I had to move out this 1800, or this guy right here. Let's put the bracket down there. And we get 37.4207, and then that's 6800. That's my A, so if I add all those together, I can do that, because now I have them all out at year 50. So once I get them to year 50, I can just add them together. And I have this 10,086.03. That's my A. Okay, so now if I look at this equation here, I know what my A is. My I is 5%. All right, that's from just up here in the example. And my N is 50. That's the cycle over which this management is being repeated. So when I plug that into my equation from right here that gives it a perpetual periodic, I have 1008603, got that over 1.05 to the 50 minus 1, like that, and that equals 963.57. And that would be dollars per acre when we're done. And that is my soil expectation value, right? Because I put all of these other ones out to the end where that A is, I only have to do this equation, which this is one of the easier, more difficult equations, right? I only have to do it once with that A, and that gives me my, my bare land value. So an acre of dirt, bare land, is worth 963, or all of these things Right, perpetually over time is $963 per acre. So now I can step down and let's just go with the one acre here. And I can say, what if this thing is 28 years old? I can the homework. So we're somewhere in the middle of all this. Right? What would I that look like? And so what I need to do is a timeline again. And so here I am out here at year zero. And the age of the stand is 28. And I want to know what's the O, oh, because that's going to be my land and timber value. So what's the next thing that happens in this stand? If I have 28-year-old trees, right? none of this stuff that already happened in this rotation. So the next thing is at age 35, I'm going to do this second thing. And so let's put that in here. That's seven years out into the future. And that's age 35 for the stand. I'm going to get $1,800. Okay. And then another thing that happens just before the end is at 50, I'm going to cut it and get 6,800. And that, because I'm 28, is 28 years is going to be 22 years in the future at stand age 50. I get 6,800. But when that happens, I also start in on all future rotations. And so all of this other stuff would start happening. But I've already solved what's that, what that's worth, right? I already know that all that future 
cost in revenue is 963.57. I've crunched all those numbers into a single VO. There it is, and I'm going to use that going forward. So that's what I have, three single sums, two of them in the year that I can add them together. So my land and timber value, or this VO for this, is going to be 1800 This one here, I have to discount it back seven years. 1.05 to the 7. Okay, and I'm going to add on to that 6,800 that I get here, but I can, because they're in the same year, add all future costs and revenues, 963.57. And I take that back in time, 1.05 to 22. So, slide that back, add these together because they're in the same year, slide them back, and my land and timber value is 3933.20 per acre. So we're just going to play with one acre right now. So that's how I would do that with more of these in an equation or in a, in a management plan that I might have, right? First, I slid them all out here, so I only had to apply this perpetual periodic once. So I, instead of solving for VOs, I wanted to find out what that A might be, which had made me move all these out to year 50 by sliding them to the right or compounding them. I then can add them together because they're in the same year, which gives me my A value. And I can plug that A value into this equation and only do it once and get my 963 for my bare land value. I then go down and see what I have or where I am in this management plan at 28 years and I have to accomplish the thinning and the final harvest and then I get this bare land value of dirt. So I can move the 1800 back seven years, add these two together because they're in the same year and move them back 22 years and my land and timber value is 39.33. So hope that helps you guys and um, I will see you in class.